Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Extinct Bricks Unboxing! Hi everyone and we're back for another unboxing and this is uh, one of those gifts that I received this Christmas and probably next video you will be seeing more of what I got for Christmas and we're actually just waiting for those to arrive as well so for this video we're opening this particular box and I'm excited actually to see what's in it alright we had uh, I, I believe um, we got a footage of this one from where we got it so we're also going to have that also as insert in this particular video uh, a little clip over here as well all right so let's start opening this one shall we so like how I open my gifts I usually tear <laughs> tear everything off it's much fun that way um, although of course some may be uh, doing you know uh, you reusing some of the uh, gift wraps for next year but hey it's just one gift so i'm not going to cry over something all right so here it is so we have three boxes of dinosaur thingies here i believe they don't have those um lego pieces but it's um very similar to what we have for the lophosaurus and also the raptor and this particular mutant pterodactyl of some sort so let's start opening one of them all right so we have here the cutters so we can cut off the excess tape there uh -huh. and here it is wow Well, let's open it. Alright. So we have here instructions for uh, the Velociraptor. Well, it's from the late Cretaceous. It has some information here. The size of the Velociraptor is close to that of a turkey and so on. As you can see here. And then we have here the instructions for the raptor all right so looking at it very closely it does look you know larger than what we have for a raptor so probably we're going to buy more of these so that we'll have you know um we'll have uh, uh base figures for our uh medium size uh medium size theropods all right so we're just going to assemble this one very quickly and then here we have our uh, raptor completed it has some bolts and nuts which are actually uh, you know um, not my cup of tea but probably will have those somehow um change if we're going to use this for our uh for our customs uh again uh uh just reviewing it i like the way the size is the the um overall scope is based off from the raptor from <clears throat> lego and uh, the paint up is why well, you know it's very underwhelming but nonetheless um it doesn't really matter so much because the uh the base figure in itself it would be um a really good i'm not sure if it will fit with lego uh let's see we have here a base plate which we can use and it does all right so it does fit with uh lego pieces in terms of at least the, uh, the feet uh there you go or, or, or it attaches to that so it's perfect uh in terms of uh if ever i would be using this particular figure um so let's now compare this one with the raptor that we have okay so this one is the blue raptor from the first jurassic world release and uh, of course it has those you know mind controls thingies oops so let's just take this one off and 
let's compare it with the Raptor. Alright, so in terms of size, so this one is much larger than our um, regular size Raptor. Although the Raptor here is already uh, large for its size, comparing it with the minifigure here. So uh, technically this is actually almost an Allosaur-like type of figure as you can see from its sheer size this is very usable for most of the figures that we would be using for our uh, future customs right so uh, in terms of articulation of course it can move its tail like so although it's quite no we're not gonna do that uh, the legs of course uh, it's really good uh, the arms as well has uh, a good movement to it of course the head can turn 360 and then of course it can open its mouth to this extent and this extent so that's it for the raptor guys um, so yeah overall i like the figure and this is something you will be seeing in our next um customs again the plastic is quite good it has some uh, additional detailing here of um of scope which is quite uh something that uh i really like and yeah so that's our raptor next up we will be uh opening the the lophosaurus as well as the pteranodon over here uh, so we have it here i'm going to put it on assemble usher and um this one as well so let's do that so we have here our dilophosaurus and then here it is so dilophosaurus early jurassic uh double ridge dragon also known as a double spine dragon and double helmeted dragon yeah, so it has a short description and it's here and uh, I'm expecting that this one is also a bit larger uh, than the regular Raptors that we have for Lego. So we're going to uh, go on speed mode over here so that you won't have to, you know, wait for me slowpoke <laughs> to finish up the assembly, alright? have here our next oops uh, figure this is the pterosaur and you can see here here's a picture flying reptile so pterosaurs they appeared and died out together with the dinosaurs they generally appeared at lakeside or riverside seasides things like that so here's the pterosaur or the flying reptile so here's again the instruction manual for that and we're going to quickly Go into speed mode again to show you how it's assembled. And here is our all uh, or trio of dinosaurs that we have and also a pterosaur. Um, so I think uh, they're all good in terms of uh, playability. Kids would love this. And um, I would, of course, again, use these as, um, as base figures for our future customs here on Extinct Bricks. Uh, all of them would actually uh, attach to Lego pieces like so. Yep. Yes. And uh, even for the third sword, it also would attach to a Lego ba base plate. As you can see here. Yes, it does. It does. Yeah. 
so um, these are actually usable for most of my future customs this size is well again the size is much larger than our uh, usual Lego Raptor over here so see and uh, this is actually uh, something that we can use for larger or at least medium size uh, carnivores if we're going to compare one with a T-Rex over here uh, so if we're going to compare this with the T-Rex you can see that, that it is actually uh, a larger size of a carnivore uh, compared it with our, our raptor here so there's a difference in, difference in size and I think this would be something that we can of course use for our future costumes and uh, if you're going to ask me um, what is the um, uh, the rating for uh, these then I'm going to give it a 9 I guess a 9 because uh, as with Hasbro figures, I'm not a fan of those nuts and bolts. If this could be something that kids would just attach and then this would be, um, uh, even if it doesn't have those studs on the back and uh, even if it doesn't have these um, articulations on the tail, then it would have been a much, much better figure. But yeah, because I was so excited of the size and of course the uh, usability of this figure for my future customs, then I'm actually giving it a 9. Alright, so again guys, thank you for watching. That is it for our um, uh, toy review, unboxing if you want to call it and i'll see you on the next one and if you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell and of course please don't forget to share with your friends and as we always would say let your inner dino break roar thanks everyone and bye and happy new year